Okay, I think we are live. Hello everyone, welcome to this new live dedicated to Mongolia, to Mongolian culture, to the Maroor and to its me melody and music. Today it's going to be a little bit of a special uh, live as we are celebrating the one year anniversary of the Into the Maroor uh, show as well as the one year of the Discord community. So in this live uh, today, we will kind of see a little bit of the history of what happened with the Ohod, how it became uh, a community and what were the adventure that happened before and after. We will see what we actually did and achieved in this year, even that we had this pandemic and everything, there is a lot of things that we achieved all together. And there will be some uh, little surprise, maybe let's see how, how it goes. So let's get started. I guess that for the person that are following the show, you can see the, <laughs> the different picture uh, of the generic. So greetings, everyone. Greetings. I'm very glad to see you here. So let's say hello, Karim. Hello, Blaviken. Hello, Magne. Hello, Andras. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. So uh, I guess that we are uh, going to start right away. So hey, Sam, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining us today, Sam Batano. So as you can see, I have a lot of things uh, written that I want to share with you today. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> I'm not that used to celebrate uh anniversary birthday and all that so it's a it's a bit of a first for me something like that so uh i might need some minute to breathe and be comfortable <laughs> so today is a big day exactly today one year ago we started the adventure uh into the murder so today we have uh 10 episodes we did 10 episodes almost one episode per month also one month before we started the discord community the old discord community it was actually started the first of april it wasn't a joke uh for real the first of april 2020 we started the Discord community. So today, that's kind of the anniversary of the show and of uh, the Discord community. 
So that's a very, 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 very awesome day for me. And I guess for you as well, who joined uh, from the first day or even before, or, or if you just joined today also, that's, uh, I hope that it's gonna be interesting information and, and live today. So first, uh, I want to share a little bit of the story of the OHOR because that's not something that I, I, I didn't share that much about why OHOR, uh, what is the meaning of OHOR and where it's coming from and all that. So I thought today, as it's the one year anniversary, I thought to give you a little bit of the story uh, that bring the different adventure, the different things that happened that became uh, what we have today. So first, the idea behind Ohod, uh, what is Ohod? What is the meaning? Ohod means in Mongolian, it means ancestral or original, original in the term of origin. Uh, not like brand new or something like that. Original, like the original origin uh, of something. So um, I, I decided like a few years ago to, to start spreading and sharing this ancestral music, ancestral art. And actually in March 2019, I kind of made a partnership with a dancer and we started, we had the idea for a few months to create a center uh, to share the Merwood, the Bee, Urtindo and all those uh, ancestral art and culture. So we started in March uh, 2019, so almost two, or two years ago. And after one month, some things kind of changed and I went more and more into the ancestral way of the music and art. And the person I was with at that time, she kind of like moved in more modern and, and kind of business things. So we decided to, to separate and I moved in a new place. So that was in April, 2019. I started a little bit and the school I was learning back then proposed me to be uh, included in the school. So after two uh, nomadization, I would say, I decided to move a third time to go in the school. Uh, in my school, I had a very great space. I'm very grateful for that time that I had this great space. I could do so many things. And in July 2019, the Ohol Soil Tov, so the, the center of culture ancestral, if I could, if I could translate, uh, was open. So it actually opened during the NADAM in, in 2019. So that was also super, super interesting. And uh, why the center? The idea was to um, support the, 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 the art and culture heritage that is being lost more and more uh, now nowadays with the modernization, globalization. That was one um, kind of goal, I would say. The second one was, as I'm French, when I was in France and I wanted to learn about the Merhur or Mongolian culture or the Bi or Urtindo or the Tatlar and all that, information were incredibly rare. Um, it was super difficult to find information, to find, uh, to buy a metal world, to, to be able to get an instrument that was super crazy, like a nine, uh, yeah, eight, eight, nine years ago. That was super complicated. So I thought that I want to help uh, the people that are all around the world, not just foreigner, not just non-Mongolian, but there is also Mongolian that live in the States or in Europe. Uh, that want to get back uh, or connect with their own culture. But as they are abroad, it's very difficult to, to get information, to find a way to discuss and all that. So that was a second goal, being able to, to share this culture, to, 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 to make it um, affordable, I would say, or accessible to anyone uh, all around the world. So in Mongolia for Mongolian uh, youth, the children, and for the tourists that would come and 
to export all this information for free uh, in, in Europe, in the States and all that. So that was the two main uh, ID that, that I had uh, with this center, with this OHO. So that, that's kind of the, the key point uh, of this community, I would say. There is another point actually that is very, very important to me. As some of you might know, I also, I'm also kind of like psychologist. Uh, I, I started 10 years ago to kind of study human emotion, uh, also spirituality and, and kind of life coaching things and, and this kind of stuff. So the idea also was to be able to help people um, be more positive, having more motivation and being more creative or being more uh, collaborative with all, all uh, the neighbor or all, every, every other person. Uh, basically, one side would be to, to make people being able to follow their dream because I kind of uh, changed life and, and I did a lot of different things. And I want to inspire also other person that would be willing to do the same jump kind of, you know. So that was another idea. And bring, make, a, make a, a bridge between the culture, between different kind of person, different uh, kind of religion and philosophy and all that. That's exactly what what we have now in the in the Discord. Uh, I will get to it a little bit later. But really, the idea be behind this Oroth, uh, that's exactly like that. So now we are kind of in uh, in um, in July 2019, and actually in February. Um, 2020, as you all know, uh, we had this pandemic coming and we had, I had the, the, the obligation to close the center. So in that time, I was, I had actually four partner, uh, three partner. We were four person. Uh, the first one was Jadrat Serra, which is my teacher of history of Mongolbitschik of uh, Oksatnitvi, how we say, uh, anthropology. Um, like she, she is the, the person that is supporting me from day one, almost, um, and helping with the oral and with the book, which I will also talk a little bit later in this live. The second person was Laura, uh, which is incredible, like, absolutely incredible uh she's been helping me with all the english subtitle english word the english version of the website she checked everything everything she helped me with the book she also did some research i mean she's like freaking freaking crazy awesome so also big gratitude uh for laura i hope that you are here or that you will look at the live a little bit later but thanks a lot for being with me in this adventure for so many years. I'm super crazy grateful. And hello, oh no, hello, Munku, Baksha, Sembeno, Getlatla. And the, the third person actually is Janelke. Uh, she was helping a lot in the center to organize the lecture uh, that we were doing in the center. So also Janelke is super helpful helped a lot also with the translation of the subtitle for the for the show so i'm super grateful for those uh three person which are definitely totally included in the oral uh, adventure also i want to make a gratitude also to mende which helped me move uh, so many times from one place to another. She helped me also with the title of the show and with the subtitle in Mongolian. So Mende also thanks a lot for your support and your help for all this time. Uh, I'm super grateful. So I, I, it's going to be a little bit of a gratitude live, you know, but I think that it's important to, to I, I want now that it's the one year anniversary, I want also to share uh, and to show my gratitude to all the person that I've been 
uh, helping, even if it's a little bit in the background, but I think that it's in, important to, 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 to say that. So as you know, <clears throat> in 2020, with the pandemic, I had to close, we had to, to close the center. So we decided to make an uh, uh, online kind of like group. So first it was on Facebook. Uh, it was mostly constituted with the, the students that I had physically in the center back then. But gradually it, it kind of expanded and, and moved to, to have more uh, foreigner in the group. And at that time, actually, as a lot of you might know, I was for many years a super hardcore gamer. So of course I was on Discord and I was like, oh, but wait, Discord is actually super cool for, for, for community things and share information and all that. So back in that time, I was like, okay, why not make a Discord for sharing culture? Uh, maybe it can be super interesting. So back in that time, so around March last year, I started to, to work on the, um, on the Discord. And as said uh, just before, in April 1st, on April 1st last year, the Discord was open as kind of like a teasing for the show that was uh, coming. So if you have, by the way, if you have any comment, if you have any question of this uh, kind of adventure, feel free to, to ask in the, in the chat. Uh, I would be very glad to give you some hidden things or secret or, or some anecdote. I think that would be maybe interesting. So if you have any question, feel free to uh, share and ask. I would be very, very glad. So um, now I just want to, to, to make a, another little uh, parenthesis with what we actually did in the center before uh, it was um, an online community. So in the center, we were giving uh, Maduro class and being BBLG class, we had around, I think, 30, 20, 30 students, uh, regular, kind of in Maduro and in, in, in BLG. And we were doing lecture. Uh, we actually did five lectures in the center. So each lecture I had around 30, 40 person, like yeah, 20, 30 person, kind of usually children. And we did around a dozen of lecture outside the center. So it was, there was a TEDx actually, uh, we did a TEDx. One was in the National School of uh, Ulaanbaatar. Uh, one was in the Hukjin Bujgin College, uh, in the in the dance and dance and music college, which now is the conservatory of uh, Ulaanbaatar, and one time even in China, uh, in Erinhot, so in Inner Mongolia, Southern Mongolia, and all between all these lecture and conference and talk about the culture, ancestral culture, I think that we touched around a thousand person physically so the lecture were were about um of course the the legend of the murderer a bit about the top shore uh it was also talking about the tatlak the bead the urtindo the spirituality so basically kind of what you can find in the 10 episode of the into the murderer so basically the lecture i was giving i kind of changed it into episode into the into the murderer. So basically that's kind of like what I was sharing in the in the lecture in the conference. In addition, um, there was a bit of inspirational talk kind of to make people get out of their comfort zone, uh, to be more self-confident, uh, to to follow their dream, be more creative. So there were a little bit of that in the lectures as well. And another side was more ecological, uh, kind of to try to bring more awareness about the ecological issues that we are facing now in our century. So the lecture were kind of um, about that. So that's uh, the first page now, finished. 
So that's uh, kind of what we were doing uh, with the with the center. So now we are in 2020. Uh, the 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 Discord is open. We started the how to say the into the metal show. So what did we do in that year for a year? What what happened? So first we did this into the metal world show. So ten episode. Uh, talking about the spirituality, the symbolism, the technical uh, aspect of the Marvur, how to play some exercise, a bit of history, um, also some element to give you information about the Urtindo, how it's separated and all that. So we did this 10 episodes. And actually, if you go on my website, you can find 17 episode that were made previously actually in 20 uh, in 2016 also 17 episode not really uh, that well produced or super quality but kind of a first attempt at sharing the the music of the murder and information about the murder so that's the first thing that we actually achieved in this year this into the murder show Second thing, which is not totally finished, it's the book. I will drink a little bit. <laughs> I think that there were some questions. Um, Beyond Beef, I think the Discord is an immense source for information and it's been really helpful. Thanks, Bjorn for this word i'm super grateful uh to hear that and super happy and lasha hello lasha welcome thanks for joining are you planning to live in mongolia for a long time well i don't know for now i i'm not planning to leave mongolia uh, i want to stay in mongolia as long as i can so far i'm even thinking of going to live in the west uh, of Mongolia, eventually in Hoft or in Ofs, Otlangham. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, my art would say Otlangham to go to Ofs, uh, but maybe in Hoft because culturally it's super interesting, but the two are quite close from each other. So I could go in one another and then move from another. So that's something I'm planning. I'm thinking about it. The main issue, if I could say, is the financial economical aspect, because if I go in the countryside, a lot of things that uh, here in the city help me find uh, um, a bit of money. I might not be able to keep doing those things in the countryside. So I'm kind of like um, thinking about it right now. But yeah, for now, I I'm not planning to, to move from Mongolia. And if I move from Utlambatar, that would be to move in the west of Mongolia, either in Hoft or in Utlangham. So, Tingermitten, as we said, the, the, the sky knows. <laughs> I, I don't know yet how it's, it, it, will, uh, it will go and all that. Eventually, also with the, also with the pandemic and all things, I, I don't know how it will go. But that's kind of my plan uh, for the few decades, maybe, or actually for one or two decades. Uh, but maybe I would like to go in, in the States, in America or in Europe uh, when pandemic will be a little bit more peaceful to give conference, concert, workshop. And I would be so glad to see all of you in in uh, in flesh for real you know that would be super cool to make some workshop all together and make physical meeting of the old community that would be super great so maybe not in the next few years but in a in a close future if the opportunity uh flourish definitely i would be super happy to move uh to be a little bit more like a nomad with the motherhood with the ikel and move from one place to another to make concert and share the music and the culture uh, more. So to get back in the flow of information that I'm sharing with you, uh, 
in addition to the show into the murder world, we have the book which is um, now super super close super super close but to for those who actually know uh, that I started the book few years ago I had few bad luck and some little uh, adventure there and there which made the 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 kind of like I would say the schedule got very uh, exploded uh, it didn't go as uh, easy as I imagined uh, actually ma making a book is not that simple especially in four language especially when one language is written by hand uh, that, that's my first book so there is so many things I didn't imagined so that's why it really it really 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 takes a lot of times but know that the so it's in in Mongol uh, Creole Cyrillic in Mongol Wirol Bichik in French and in English so know that the French is 100% finished the English is 100% finished the Mongol Cyrillic is 100% finished and the Mongol Wirol Bichik Mongol Bichik is I would say maybe um, 70% so this is the Mongol world version. So I will, uh, I think I, I showed you maybe one time before, but I will, I will show again because I, I really love this uh, writing. So as you can see, uh, it's written all by hand. So that's kind of the rough version. And now, uh, so that's the first part. Now here, it, it's the second part. So this is poems and explanation, uh, description, a little bit of history, some Urtindo, some Maktal. So that's the second part. And there is the third part here so um this rough version is kind of like all finished as you can see all the cyrillic has been transposed and now it's the third time actually that i make this transposition and now with alton Tuya, i will talk about her a little bit later in this live with alton Tuya, we are checking everything to be sure that there is no mistakes and here you can see the first page uh, written like that's what will be scanned and in the book, actually. So, Urgo <laughs> Hook. And yeah, there is, um, so it's all, it's all, that's another, another test, but that was a little bit too, too thick. So, and here, like trying to check which pen I should use, the space between the line and all that. So I, I also want to show you that because some person wrote me recently to ask where the book, uh, what's going on, where is it, uh, when will it be finished and all that. So I just wanted to show you also that it's like uh, going and I'm not giving up or it just take a lot of time because it's written by hand so it's uh, it's a little bit time consuming <clears throat> uh, sorry are you in Alaska Rombater Seno Irsen by La Nixon by La Sembenos Tivara Beats in the Ispenaho Seno whoa 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 so many person uh, Magne, that would be awesome to have such concert and presentation. So yeah, definitely that's something that uh, I really would like to, to do. That would be super awesome. Now, for now, that's a little bit complicated, but well, uh, soon that should, that should work out. So second thing that is, uh, that was worked on during this year is the book. Third thing, the live. As now we are live, actually, we started to make live about the Mongol, Mongol culture the 19th September of 2020. So it's been, uh, whoa, it's been six months, actually. It's been six months and we have 18 live. 
So in those live, uh, we talked about millions of things, mostly related to the motherhood, but also related to Mongolia, related to the culture, nomadic life, pastoral life, about religion, about spirituality, uh, about like so many, so many, so many things. So also we worked on this uh, series of life to share the culture, spread the good vibe, spread melodies and music. So that's another very great achievement, I think, that we did. Uh, in addition, we also worked on the uh, 99 Urtindo. So the, this was this challenge of posting one Urtindo every day. So for almost three months, as it was uh, 99 Urtindo. So the idea of this 99 Urtindo was to kind of celebrate uh, the 99 Tengir, so the 99 sky, uh, to also bring good energy to the world and all that. So uh, I think that's a pretty nice achievement. Also, it was an opportunity to share other kind of Urtindo melody, because usually we kind of always listen and hear the same Urtindo, but some are also very amazing, but they are not always shared. So the 99 Urtindo uh, was kind of an, an opportunity to share new melodies uh, related to the Urtindo and also to give you the opportunity to practice and try to follow the melodies uh, at the same time. So that's kind of what we achieved uh, in this year in terms of uh, sharing of content on YouTube. I just want to give you some statistic maybe about the, the channel, how it's going and what uh, we had. So, so far we are at 3,278 subscribers on the YouTube. So that's super crazy awesome. I think that last year, um, it was not even 1000, so definitely it, it grew uh, really, really great in one year. So again, I'm super grateful to have so many person following this uh, cultural exchange and cultural adventure kind of. So I'm like super, super grateful. Um, the channel overall had like 215,000 views. So that's super crazy. I mean, for me, that's a that's huge number. Uh, that's super awesome. And it was watched for almost 10,000 hours. <laughs> so uh, that's super positive um, because it means that people also are more interested in the traditional folk music in the traditional knowledge, uh, not just in the modern and pop and globalized uh, art and music and culture, but people get interested uh, in in the old stuff, if I could say ancestral music and, and more maybe spiritual and all that. So I think that it's super, super positive. And in the top viewer countries, of course, the first one is Mongolia, but actually I was super surprised because uh, I, I, I don't know, I, uh, yeah, I was surprised. <laughs> Second country is the United States of America. Third one is France. Yes, <laughs> uh, France are, French are never first one. They always second or third. <laughs> then the fourth one is Turkey, actually. So that's also uh, very, very nice to know that the, the Turk uh, are watching a lot uh, of the, the channel. It means that there is connection that are, that, that are uh, coming and all that. So that's super awesome. Then Germany and South Korea. South Korea, that's also very surprising. So that's kind of like to give you um, a feedback on what happened, the story of the old, of this adventure, what happened, why, and, and so on. And now I want to talk about what will come. What are the plans for the upcoming content? 
Um, happy birthday, keep it going. Dulgong bat girl kita la. I will, I will keep going. I will keep going. And I bow blood of the strings. Sambat <laughs> sano everyone. Sano isn't by la. So now I want to talk about the things that will come uh, in the upcoming year. I will get a bit of water. I hope that it's a, it's a little bit different from the previous life, uh, but I think that it's also a little bit important. <clears throat> so, the upcoming things. There is the... Okay. Okay. I'm super excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh god okay upcoming things so to keep uh with the live as as uh, most of you already knows as we already made two in the live now it's gonna be a little bit more oriented for melodies and 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 learn melodies and learn song so the live will be now how to play blah 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 so we had uh, how to play Chinggis Hani Maktar, how to play Baya Til Kindik. Next one might be how to play Orjan Khai Satsar. Then uh, we will see. But basically, I, I might not make one live systematically every Saturday, but at least one uh, every two Saturdays, so twice a month minimum, I think. And uh, if there is not a specific subject that is asked uh, on Discord, it systematically be, be it will systematically be uh, how to play uh, a melody. So a B, a tatlar, a maktar, or whatever we will see all together. Or in the comments, you can post your su suggestion in the comment below. You can join the Discord and we can talk about it together on the Discord. See what melody, what song you want to learn, you want to see uh, in the next live. And I will make the, the live uh, to share a melody kind of the way we made uh, with the two previous ones. Uh, cutting things uh, sentence by sentence, uh, little detail by little detail and stuff like that. So basically now the live, as we already talked about so many things, uh, now let's talk music and let's uh, share melodies. So from now on, the live will be mostly maybe 90% or 90, uh, yeah, 80 or 90%. It's gonna be how to play whatever the melody it is but it's gonna be how to play so that's for the upcoming live then second one and i'm super super excited about that for those who are on discord uh you know that i shared um i think last week some tests of recording with my microphone and all that so i will start very Hopefully this month, if not at, at the worst, it's going to be in June, but I will try this month because I need to take some picture for it and all that, but I will start a new playlist on YouTube and this playlist is going to be an anthology, which will be called Oral Ikil Ba Murur, so ancestral or traditional Ikel and Marhor. And on this playlist, it's going to be all Tatlak B and some of my composition, which I will, uh, there is three for now. One is finished. The second one is almost finished, but it's in the style kind of of the B of the Tatlak. So it sound, uh, I hope it sound kind of old school. So um, I will start this anthology and hopefully I will share one song per week. So uh, I'm crazy excited with that. So I, I made a lot of tests uh, with my, I, I have a little recorder 
So I made a lot of tests to get the best sound possible. I asked a few advice and I think that I found the right setup. So the first piece might be recorded with the Ikel. And um, so this new playlist, basically what we made with the Urtindo, I will start now to do it with the B, with the Tatlak, maybe, maybe not, but maybe Maktal. But I want it to be mostly Marugor and Ikel melody, kind of solo. So that's the second thing that will be coming very, 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 very soon. So second thing, third thing, uh, that I'm not so sure uh, because it, it will depend on the pandemic a little bit. And, but the idea is that this playlist of uh, Iket and Marugur Melody, it's, there, will not, there, there won't be videos. It's just going to be a picture with the name, very simple. You will, you will see. Uh, but the idea is to use those melody as a background with short documentary. So uh, that's something that I want to do for a while. Um, and maybe this year I will be able to start it, but it will depend a little bit with the pandemic. But the idea is to make a short documentary, few minutes about one subject, maybe one guy that is making, um, how to say, saddle, another one that is making the wall of the gate, another one with how to make the ton, uh, how to make Merur, uh, how to make Iket, how to make whatever. So every single thread of the Mongolian uh, culture, I want to film it and make small doc documentary. So this, I, I would like to start this summer, but it will depend on the, on the pandemic, on my fin finance, uh, my, my money. So if you want that, you need to go on my website and make single donation, subscription and all. <laughs> So, but basically that's something that I really, really, really want to, to start uh, this year because that's in my head for a while. So I thought, actually, my friend Budje, she suggested that um, when I record the, the, the song, putting a documentary as a visual kind of like a clip, that would be super interesting. So that the idea kind of grew up like that to make small documentary and use the ontology, the recording of melodies as background music. Uh, so whatever you get, you get it. So that's, that's another um, ID. Another things also, it's going to be another thing. It's going to be also uh, related to pandemic. So hopefully we will start this year or not. I'm not sure. I will see. The idea is to make a partnership with uh, the person who made my ikel. So I will show my ikel again. So you can see this little beauty. So basically the person who made that ikel, I would like to visit him uh, in the summer and eventually get instrument from get the instrument from him and and sell those instruments to you the same way I do with the wooden murder now but I would like to kind of stop the wooden murder and 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 sell and share the the skin instrument more because the skin instrument are more real it's the sound is more mongol um, the playing is more mongol it's uh, it's uh, so that's another idea uh, that is on the way. So basically, it's it will be it will still be possible to get wooden instrument, but I will also try to to support this person by Sarah, which is making Marur in offs, uh, because I want to support also the the countryside, of course and share this instrument to the world so people can see and have instruments that are coming from the countryside of Mongolia. So that's another plan that is uh, on the on maybe this year, uh, but it will depend a little bit of how the pandemic uh, 
uh, evolve or stop or or so but still that's something that will be very soon on on the way another another um, thing and this uh, I think that Blaviken will be crazy happy to to hear that uh, some of you might know already Altantuya which is a partner of Orol she's a um, language researcher uh, character researcher t t uh, how we say Tipo, she's also a calligrapher, but she researched the language and the, and the different writing uh, related to Mongolia. And she is the person that is helping me with the proofreading of the Mongol script of the Weirold Mongol Bichik. Um, and the idea is to make uh, into the Mongol Bichik or into the Mongol writing or the name is not sure. But basically, it's to make the same idea of the into the Merur, but for the Mongol Bichik. So for the calligraphy, for the Mongol language. So she is super busy. Uh, we already talked a bit about it. Uh, so please, guys, uh, pray. <laughs> But uh, it should it should come uh, hopefully. Also in the upcoming year, uh, I wish to start it. Um, so the idea is to have the same quality of the into the motherhood, very precise. I will not be the the narrator. She will be the person who will talk. So it will it will be in Mong in Mongol, in Mongol language, with the subtitle and all that. But the idea is to share also. The language because just the Merur it's not enough uh, you need to learn the Mongol language <laughs> so if you can have the language then if you uh, if you learn the language and you can write then you can learn the Maktal then you can sing with more uh, with more I would say with more comfort so so we will need your support uh, for that financially so the subscription, the single donation, definitely it's going to be super, super helpful. Uh, but that's something that we already talked with Altantuya as we are working on the book. Basically, we plan to finish the book first. And when the book is finished, hopefully in a few months, uh, the idea would be to start the, the show about Mongol language. So that's a huge <laughs> a huge information that I just drop uh, like that but um, as it's the one year anniversary I thought that maybe giving you a lot of insight of what's going on and what I'm thinking and what I'm working on uh, definitely that's um, that's important for me to me and I think for you also to know that I'm not just sitting there uh, waiting uh, so, so yeah. So that's kind of for the upcoming. So is there any reaction or, or question about all the things that I've been uh, talking about until now? So I just gonna read a little bit. Vive la France! <laughs> Vive la France! Yes, Blaviken. Totally. Comment on dit, comment on dit Vive la France en, en breton? <laughs> uh, excited for the playlist. Yeah, me too. Definitely super, super me too. Super excited. Uh, can maybe I can play? Maybe I can play the the first song I composed, the first tatlach I composed for you now. If someone wants to hear it, this is amazing. That would be real fun. Omg, um, it's so cool. Yeah, definitely. So, if there is no uh, question or 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 so, now I want to take a little a little bit of time to express my um. Magne is saying, I even already have a plan for your presentation here in Kiev, Kiev, in Ukraine. That would be so awesome. 
<laughs> Magne, please, please, do it, do it. And then we will go to the Hunu, Hyogno Museum together. That would be so awesome. <laughs> Maybe we can play Maduro in the museum with the uh with all the, the antique object on our side and that would be so crazy awesome. Okay, okay, I'm I'm dreaming right now. <laughs> okay. So now I, I, I'm so excited. <laughs> and it's water, it's not vodka. <laughs> so now, seriously, I want to take a little bit of time to express my gratitude uh, to the person who are subscribing on the website right now and that are giving, uh, making donation financially every month. So it's six person right now. Uh, Magne, Robert, Daniel, Kravstuknat. <laughs> Sorry, I, I hope I... I hope I pronounce it kind of okay. Uh, Solo One Polo and always. So thanks a lot uh, to you guys uh, for supporting what we are doing with the old community, with the old cultural exchange. Um, you're supporting monthly, uh, giving money. That means a freaking lot. That's super. I'm so grateful. I also want to uh, show my gratitude to the person that were subscribing before, uh, but for some reason they 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 can't keep up now. So Adam, uh, Nicola, Nasenjadral, Guillaume, and Pudje. Uh, also, thanks for having supported the all uh, for months. Uh, I'm super, 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 super grateful. So all these persons have been subscribing uh, and giving money monthly to support the server, to support the website, the information, my research and the sharing, the lives and all that. So definitely I'm super crazy grateful. And on the website, on the website, it's also possible to make single donation. So in the last year we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve single donation, twelve person that gave single donation. Some gave multiple time. Uh, so Sam, Sam Muro, also partner of Orol, have has been a crazy support for this year. Uh, making a lot of donation. Roran, also that some of you might know because he's in Netherland, uh, singing Homie, living in a gear. So he also support the old project a lot by giving a single donation almost regularly. Uh, Blaviken, thanks for your donation. My cousin, actually my cousin, uh, Karin, thanks a lot. Michelle, Michel Abraham, also known as Uria, which is uh, a French living in Alsace and is playing Maduror, uh, making a lot of music related to Maduror. Uh, he also sings Homi. Uh, so Michel, thanks a lot for supporting Oros. Also, Denise, Denise Dufresne, Usur Bayer, Bot Bayer, Temujin, Susanna, Adrien, Mathieu and Antonio. So that's uh, all the person that have uh, made a single donation. So it's 12 persons, some made multiple times, some one time. Uh, definitely super grateful. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks to those people I can eat, I can keep going, uh, I can keep my research, I can keep sharing with you. So I'm definitely super, super grateful. And finally, uh, to I, I don't have all the names because there is too many, but the person that bought things from me, uh, like a murderer or boots or dead or tough shoe, uh, even one guy, crazy guy, he will recognize um, bought a yatak. <laughs> like, like this thing, one guy bought that. That was so crazy to bring it to the to the post office and to <laughs> send it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like around 50, 60 person in the last year 
bought things uh, from Mongolia and gave a little bonus each time a tip to help uh, and contribute to what I'm doing here. So almost a hundred person that uh, contributed to this adventure. So definitely, definitely super, super grateful. Uh, thanks a lot. So now, oh, I forgot something. <laughs> Actually, I will, I will, um, I will show you after the the cake. Now we have the cake. So now it's the one year. I actually today is the first of uh, today is the first of May. So in Mongolia, the first of the month, we cannot drink alcohol. So I bought uh, a little. It's kind of like a limonade, chinchona Indian tonic. So it's uh, there is no alcohol, but I wanted a sparkling. Uh, I would say sparkling beverage for the occasion. So I bought this little lemonade. So let's start it. I hope that you also have something to drink with me right now. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is uh, ready and now I will I will make the cake ready for you guys. Okay. So Torsuna Trimen Hurgi Torsuna Trimen Hurgi Torsuna Trimen Hurgi Bitnarta <laughs> so the little cake for the Ohol community, for you guys, uh, for the Merhur, for the Ikil. Uh, as you can see, there is a little Merhur here. So I wish you all to learn the Merhur as well as uh, great as you wish uh, to play it with all your soul and all your art and compose, improvise, feel the environment, feel the music, feel the vibe. Uh, normally the wish should be in my head, but I want to wish you guys that I and girls that has been following the old adventure now for a year. Uh, I want to wish the best to all of you uh, that we keep being a family, um, breaking the bridge between the different countries, sharing all together in, in an open mind, in a creative mind, in a collaborative mind, sharing our information, um, being transparent with each other and supporting each other def definitely I think that it's super important so this is uh, for us guys and girls and the community and for the old and for the Into the Murder and the upcoming project that will come very soon so May the blessing of the eternal blue sky be upon you. <laughs> Hooray! 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 And now, a little bit of drinking. <laughs> So I was waiting for this. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Actually, it's not a chocolate. <laughs> it's not a chocolate maror. Uh, maybe I should show you what it is. Actually, so. Mm -hmm. 
So this, oh, where is it? This little matter world is actually, let's see if you can, if anyone has an idea, what is this little matter world? What is it? Is there anyone with an idea? <laughs> Maybe if I show the backside, you guys would have an idea. <laughs> it's a USB key. <laughs> but it's super cute. It's super cute. So, and it, it decorates the, the cake perfectly. So now, Actually, I want to show you um, sugar, caramel, marzipan. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not, we cannot eat it. <laughs> so funny. So, yeah, it's a, it's a USB disc, flash disc. So now I want to, I, I, I totally forgot. Uh, is the cake a computer? <laughs> no, no, the cake is a real cake. It's a honey cake. So I will probably uh, eat it just after that, just after the live. If I eat now, uh, it's gonna take uh, too long. So it's a cake or computer. Okay, what I wanted to show you also I kind of forgot, uh, in the website, I will uh, develop, uh, not really develop, kind of add some object um, that I, because as some of you knows, I like to go to the Narantut uh, market, uh, to the antique shop and all that. And I like to find kind of rare object. So I found free object right now which I will put on the website very soon. So I, I, I thought that maybe I can share it with you now. Actually four, let me show you. <clears throat> so, and, and you can also give me uh, your feeling about it, uh, if it's a good idea or not. So basically the idea would be to, I would like to make a <clears throat> kind of like a market uh, on the website to, again, to be able to get some financial help, but also to sell some object from Mongolia. So the first one is this uh, satslak. So kind of like rare kind of like antique uh, object. So first one is like that. So this might be out for sale on the website or maybe it will be a giveaway to the person who buy a murderer or something like that. Maybe actually those objects could be a gift to the first person who buy a murderer in the month or in the week or in the two weeks or something like that. I will think about that. So the first one is uh, this satslak that I found that is very uh, not typical, I would say, kind of with nice uh, carving and all that. So the first one is that. Second one is this uh, small totlak. So it's to, to put the fire in it. You have the little, uh, I don't know how you say, pinch, pinch to, to put things inside. So basically you can put arras, so the, the, I would say, the cow shit, <laughs> the cow dung, you can put that, or you can maybe burn some juniper or things like that inside. So that's another object that I found uh, in the market. Third one is I really I really have uh, a big crush on this one. It's uh, 
a hohur. So this is the small version of the real object, but the skin and all that, it's, uh, it's just like a real one. And with the tool, and this is normally to make the attic. So you put the attic and then you move it like that. And then you make the bubble and make kind of like the Mongol uh, beer with the milk of the mare. So this object as well. Oh. And, and this is super, super, super awesome. I don't have many of those because it's super rare, but it's a real samba. So I will open it for you. It's super, it's real silk. So that's, uh, you know how we talked, I will put the camera a little bit down. You know how we talked before, like the, the, the Hatak, the Sambe, the Mongol Sambe, they were not too big. They were more like um, square si sized. So here, oh, you can see that's the original side, uh, the original size of the Mongol Sambe, Mongol Hatak. Uh, as you can see, the color is not uh, super saturated and it's uh yeah i i love it oh my god it's uh and on it, it there is a i don't know if you can see well let's see i don't know how to make it ah like that so yeah it's uh I, I went through almost 20, 20 different places to, to find um, this samba. So this is something that is a little bit rare uh, here. So it's not that easy to find, <clears throat> but, and it's a little bit expensive also compared to the, to the Chinese uh, synthetic attack but that's something also that i might add on the website for you guys to 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 purchase if you are interested and eventually other kind of object i don't know if maybe you are looking for something uh you can give me the id and then i will i will try to find uh that in the in the different shop and and all that so that's another thing that I would like to implement uh, in the in the future on the website to support also the idea of the doc documentary. Uh, if I work with Atantuya on the show for the language, then of course uh, I would have to give a salary as well. So that would be another way to find some money to keep working on all that. And now, little change of plan compared to the usual things that we are doing. I will now make some calligraphy for you guys. So let's move here. Let's see how I can put like that it's already kind of ready i don't know how i should like that that should work okay so i don't know if you can see me a little bit maybe i can present some things first to the person that can might that can be interested in uh, calligraphy so I can show you some of my brush so this is for definitely a big piece a um, little bit 
smaller one things that also if you are interested uh, we can talk about it and I can try to find those for you and send it to you also here maybe I can put all that on the table eh. I didn't really practice that much this part of the life so let's see how it goes <laughs> and here you can see a lot of the different brush size this is more for uh, I would say more for painting not that much for the the writing this is super awesome brush and this one this one those are super good and yeah maybe okay maybe that that should work okay so i just wanted to show you a little bit of that and then okay now we can write something actually also when we are doing calligraphy we need those wood uh, they are very heavy um, and it's it helps uh, keep the tension on the paper when we are uh, writing so let's get actually not much space let's put that in that okay Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Ink. Okay, actually this might be too big. Okay, let's see. I hope I will not lose you here. <laughs> okay. How to see? Need a little bit more ink here. Okay. I hope I will have enough space. Okay. It's a little bit too small. Okay. Nothing. I'm a little bit short in space. How should I do that? Okay, it's like it's not gonna go in. Okay. 
Okay, matter what? Mm. Bir de işte. Okay. Yeah. Good. Hogan, Marwan, Ching Mui, in the car. Maybe how to do that. Yeah. Need to move that a little bit. Space is a little bit, a little bit difficult. Sorry. Okay, that I move. Yeah, we need a little bit. Then. Okay. So that we are okay with that. And now, maybe with this one. I hope I'm not losing you. <laughs> uh, maybe. Okay. So, here. Marin Hor, Maru Horon, Shingemui. So into the Maru Hor, basically. Now, um, maybe I can put it here. Well, the composition is not that well, actually, but well, it's okay. Or maybe here. Yeah, maybe. Is yes, there? Okay. 
pretty straight. Okay. Okay, and maybe where maybe we can put more on the side. I should have made the the line actually. <laughs> Then, um, or maybe, or maybe we'll have it here, oh. or here, okay, let's do it here, below. So, we are the first. of May of 2000 I was about to write 2020. <laughs> okay. And now, time for, time for the stamp. So, I will show you here. It's uh, my collection of stamp so i don't know if you can see uh well so this one is a little fire this one is a symbol of the todlak this one is the fire plus the moon and the sun this one is the old z maybe i will put this one uh this one is a ger sult um the cloud this one is the siam and that one is my signature here so let's see let's put some stamp on this so here we have uh the ink Okay, so what I like to do is to put the little fire on top. Here. Okay, first one. Then the oldie is a good omen so let's put the old d also somewhere where you can put it mm, 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 mm. maybe we can put it here that's a, a little bit different from <laughs> the the previous live as usually it's a little bit more Musical, okay, okay, then maybe I can put my own signature as well. Okay, let's do it. 
maybe actually I can put it here. No. Oh, here. Oh, here. Okay. And shall we add one more? Maybe one more here. Maybe. Maybe the cloud. The cloud is cool. Actually, maybe the cloud. The cloud close to the Marienhoor. Okay. Maybe here. Okay. I think that's that's pretty okay. So Spread that. I will get back to the normal position here. And hello, <laughs> it's been a while. Okay, maybe I can put it here. Okay, that should work. So a little bit of calligraphy for you guys. The, the middle line is a little bit... <laughs> so basically, here, oh, Mering, Horon, then Shingemui. And then here, I will get closer. Negen, Nick, Jiling, uh, in first of May, two thousand twenty-one. So here it's my signature. Uh, you can see the little fire. The oldie, oldie here, and the cloud so that's uh, a little calligraphy for you guys straight directly on the live uh, i wanted to maybe make something a little bit different today with you so let's see uh, what happened in the in the chat that's so nice, super nice. E suf b e suf zeno. Listen by la yasango yung ben. Get la la. Zendo ich get la la. Bjorn, that was pretty fast. You mean the 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 writing? Blaviken, <laughs> uh, it makes me want to do calligraphy, but I remember that I have no more paper at all. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, that's so freaking cool. I love calligraphy so much. No word for how much I love this art. Yeah, calligraphy is also super, super awesome. Um, I, I, I think that um the metal word the the way to hold the bow play with the bow holding the brush uh, that's um that's very connected you know uh, now i'm a little bit uh i write mostly with the pen as you saw uh for the book so i'm i'm not writing much with the brush in the last month so i'm a little bit uh it's not perfect obviously but uh, still I definitely wanted to show you also a bit of calligraphy live directly. Today was the first year uh, anniversary, so I thought that was the, the, the nice opportunity to write the name of the show, Murgorn uh, Shingemui. It's into the Murgor, translated into Mongolian, uh, into Mongol language. Um, with Nek Jilin uh, and the date. Maybe actually, if someone is interested to get this calligraphy, I can maybe. Uh, put it on, on or clean it a little bit and, and uh, fix it a little bit and maybe ship it to you uh, if someone is interested or maybe we can make some 
some competition among the Discord community, the person who can play maybe one B or one Urtindo or something like that. But yeah, definitely, if someone is interested, then maybe I can uh, give it as a gift uh, for the one year anniversary. So I think uh, that's it for today. Or maybe a bit of murder. Maybe a bit of murder. I don't now it's been one hour 30 so maybe playing the Urtindo practice today is a little bit um, it might be not that that comfortable maybe we can just play a bit of music so actually are you interested to hear my uh, tatlak the, the my composition live on the ikel or Maybe not. <laughs> sure, did you play at the May beginning? I played a little bit on the beginning. So I just played the introduction of Into the Metal World in, in the beginning. Not all. Let's play a bit of oh, a play of Ikes. So So the, the first composition, so now it, it's, uh, it's uh, definitely a super, super uh, preview uh, of the first composition that I kind of created in the idea of the B, the idea of the, the dance, Mongol dance. It's called Erchim. Erchim means uh, strength, power, energy. Uh, so the idea is to to give energy, to inspire the dance to people. And um, this melody kind of came from the idea of the, the flow of the river, the way the wind in the countryside can change uh, very uh, abruptly, kind of. Uh, the wind goes there and then it flows in another direction or kind of like the 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 flow of the the the, um, the flow of the fingers <laughs> the flow of the birds uh, the flow of the rivers the the flow of the wind so that's kind of the idea of this melody and it's called Irchim. Thank you. 
So that's uh, my first uh, kind of uh, composition. And I I really enjoy it. I hope that uh, you 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 like it. That uh, it's interesting. Um, maybe as I am quite enthusiastic right now, I can give you uh, a glimpse of the unfinished uh, second composition, which is called uh, Chonin An, which means uh, the hunt of the wolf. So the second composition, I'm still kind of working on it and so on. But the, the main idea uh, is kind of there. So I just feel like uh, sharing with you uh, this second composition, my, my, my own, also inspired when I was in the forest, uh, hiking and all that and playing and things came and and so 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 yeah i hope you feel the the mood and and everything so chonin an Chonin An. <laughs> so the main idea is kind of uh, set up. 
but still uh, some little things to work on but still i i wanted to uh to share the the id and there is a third one uh but it's too um, there is only the fast part of it that is kind of more or less uh, set so I will not play it. Uh, I prefer to give it to you when it's a little bit more construct so Maybe we can play a little bit of Bayat Ilkindik actually Oh <laughs> I'm in my own composition. I, I'm, I'm totally in my composition. I'm so confused. <laughs> song from the last lesson <laughs> I can play a little bit of Maror uh, maybe a John horse song are uh, always welcome I guess <laughs> on the Nerwood. So I think that might be it for today. So I hope that you guys I hope that you guys had fun 
uh, that this live today was fun, that you enjoyed, uh, and that it was uh, interesting. Oh, I see there is some. Uh, it's really catchy. I started to sing along almost instantly. Whoa, maybe we should make a collaboration, Magne. <laughs> yeah, who knows? That would be so cool. Um, Nick Gilly and Byriman and Gelada Batumoro Hertishu. Um, Bjorn Beef, will there be lesson on Tatlak in the future? So Bjorn, yes, definitely the idea is that now the live uh, will be always or 90% of the time uh, about the how to play. So how to play this, how to play that, how to play a B, how to play a Tatlak. So we just need to be, uh, I would say, to to agree on a on a on a piece for the next live, and on the next live, uh, I guess that uh, we will get in tatlak. So as tatlak tend to be a little bit longer than uh, the B, maybe to make it uh, a little bit easier during the live. I think that I will start to share maybe five, six, seven B uh, first, and that should build the the almost one hundred percent of the skills of the technique of the technical stuff of the 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 mood and all that that you will need for the tatlak, and after maybe five or six B we will get into uh, some tatlak, some longer piece. Uh, because as it's long, if we want to be able to see one tatlak in one live, um, I will need to be a little bit on a advanced, uh, I'll say, advanced path, not just play super slowly every single little piece, more like make sentence and play it almost directly for real. So, um, considering the program, if I could say program of the Into the Murder World, which is more, I would say, the, the theory and more pure technique stuff and history and, and knowledge. And, and the live, uh, now we saw two, um, 1B and 1 Maktal, which were pretty easy. Uh, we saw... I think almost 10 Urtindo practice. So maybe until the live 25 or something like that, it's gonna be B, uh, different B, some slow one, maybe the Jara, some a little bit quicker. And once we saw uh, all those, so maybe seven more B, and at the 25, the, the 25, 25th live, then maybe it can be a Tatlak, like Jonon or or Burhan Sharnyaftal. Or, or or whatever you feel uh, that you want to learn. So um, the idea though, uh, I would like to to work, you know, on the ontology. I don't know if you were there when we talked about that, like every week, maybe post one recording on one B and the week after learning it in the live, so for me, um, I can practice crazy one melody and then share it to you in the live and I don't get mixed mixed up uh, with the different melodies and all that. So it could be in the week, uh, the, 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 the recording is released and the, the live that follow, uh, it's the learning of this uh, melody. So that would be the melody recorded then how to play it then the new one and how to play it then how and the new one and how to play it so that's kind of how i was thinking uh how to make the the youtube channel uh go so uh if you guys have uh any other questions or i will drink some more 
lemonade and while I drink that, if you guys have uh, some question, some reaction, anything that you want to share. Oh, it's over already. Feel free to write in the chat. As usual, feel free like to push the thumb for the like on the on the YouTube. Mm, nice lemonade. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel. Like the, the live if you enjoyed it, if it was fun, if you like the calligraphy. Uh, join the Discord if you want to give your Join the Discord. I, I think it cut. It did. It cut a little bit. Join the Discord if you want to give your suggestion for the new live, the new melody to learn, to explore. Um, definitely, it's very open to suggestion and interaction. And it's been two hour again. <laughs> it goes so fast. Okay, so, so I think that you are all dreaming a little bit because of the melody, maybe of the motherhood and the calligraphy. Um, whoa, nice. Thanks, Blaviken. Have awesome life today. No, I will go drink a tea while practice practicing motherhood. You are so motivating. I'm very glad. I'm very glad that you feel that way. That's super cool. And thank, uh, thank you, Magne. Paint with music. Hey, Buche! <laughs> Yay, thanks. Did you blow the candle? Yeah, it's blown already. We made the wish and, and, and did some yurul for everyone, blessing for, for everyone for the upcoming year. So, so yeah, and we blew the, the candle. I will start eating the cake. <laughs> I finished the limonade already though. So, so yeah, that was, that was a little bit different life uh, than usual with the calligraphy, a lot of talk and gratitude. Um, but I really want to say guys that I'm super glad of uh, all the things that we, we accomplished uh, this year, the Discord is growing. I'm so glad to see that some of you are posting multiple improvisation melodies on the, the, the showcase on the Discord. Um, it's also super motivating to, to, to see that uh, you're learning a lot. And, and when you play, guys, it sounds more. Um, there is this, you know, the murder uh, temper and and all that. So it, it's super super satisfying for me. And we did a lot. We shared a lot. The Discord. There were plenty of crazy, interesting conversation, sharing folk music from all around the world. We had from Africa, Pakistan, Ukraine, Russia, Britain, France, Germany. Uh, Poland, I mean, so many also uh, Inner Mongolia, India, and there is so many interesting music that we discover and share to each other there. So definitely, uh, I wish for you, for all of you uh, to be well, um, to learn well, to, to stay motivated and creative, to play the metal, and for those who like the calligraphy, uh, and uh, we will more be chick. start learning it. Uh, if you need some advice, I can help you a little bit. There is the book of Atantuya that is super gold, uh, awesome book to learn the, the, the language. Uh, that's definitely super um, uh, self-learning book. It's super awesome. So yeah, all the best for you guys. I think that's it for today. So if you like the, the, the live, feel free to push the thumb, subscribe to the channel. If you want to support uh, what we do in Orod, what I do in the research and sharing the music of 
Malroud and Iket. You can subscribe or make a donation on my website and join the Discord to share information, to get information and to exchange with people all around the world that are passionate with the folk music. And until next time, may the blessing of the eternal blue sky be upon you. Bye-bye.